Hey bees, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today we're making this gorgeous frankincense facial lotion. So this is a recipe request from Ashley, who loves the frankincense intense line from Neil's Yard Remedies. And so this definitely isn't a dupe, it's more of a tribute using some gorgeous plant-derived ingredients and other great things for your skin. As you can see, this is a pretty thick lotion, but it's not heavy at all. It goes on really, really light and it's just absolutely gorgeous. And so this lightness comes from a combination of a couple things. One is that our oil phase is fairly small. And the second is that we're using lightweight oils like macadamia nut oil and argan oil to keep our absorption speed uh, tip top. Our water phase has lots of great hydrating and soothing ingredients, so things like hyaluronic acid, aloe vera juice, and panthenol. And there's also a bit of a new-to-me ingredient, some caffeine. So caffeine helps reduce puffiness, so it's very popular in eye creams. So this is kind of an exciting new thing that I am playing with. You don't have to use it if you don't have it. Go down to the blog, check the description box, it's linked there, and I've got a bunch of information on substitutions there. So, you know, if you don't have anything, that's a really good place to check. But yeah, if you struggle with her puffiness in your face, um, this can be you know, a great ingredient to add to your DIY pantry. I've kept the batch size for this one pretty small, just 50 grams, and 50 grams is actually still quite a lot of facial lotion. I always recommend that if you've never made a recipe before, make a small amount of it, and what that small amount is obviously varies from recipe to recipe. If we're looking at body wash, I consider sort of 100 to 200 grams to be a small amount, whereas if we're looking at lip lip balm, like 10 grams is, is a fairly small amount. So that amount varies. Uh, but yeah, keep it small. I would start at 50 grams and then if you really like it, scale it up from there. But that's always just good practice when you're making things is don't make a huge batch of something you've never made before because if you don't like it, it's kind of heartbreaking to throw it out or just like really unpleasant to force yourself to use all of it. But anyhow, it's a lotion. So we have, you know, a heated oil phase, heated water phase, heat them up, blend them together, let it cool down, cool down ingredients, et voila. So let's go make this gorgeous frankincense facial lotion. We'll begin by combining our heated oil part in a heat resistant glass measuring cup or beaker. So you will need two and a half grams of Olive M1000, three and a half grams of macadamia nut oil, one and a half grams of refined shea butter, two grams of argan oil, and one gram of satyryl alcohol. Up next, we'll combine our heated water phase ingredients in a small beaker. So in this beaker, we already have 17.67 grams of distilled water. And to that, we're going to add 10 grams of a 1% hyaluronic acid stock, 10 grams of aloe vera juice, 1.5 grams of vegetable glycerin, 0.2 grams of caffeine, and 1 gram of panthenol or vitamin B5. Up next, we're going to put both phases in a water bath. So this is a wide flat bottom saute pan that has about an inch or three centimeters of water in it. And I'm going to go put this on the stove top on medium heat for about half an hour to melt and heat everything through. It's been about half an hour. We're done with our water bath. Can remove that and set it aside. Something I forgot to do before we put the water phase over the heat was way it so we could adjust it to uh, make up for the water loss during the heat and hold. But fortunately I have two identical beakers. So I'm going to pop that on there, tear it, and then pop this on here. And I know that this should weigh about 41.37 grams. So we've got some extra hot distilled water here. Pop that up. There we go. And now we can add that to our water phase, or our oil phase. Give that a quick little stir, and then we're gonna get our mixer in to start blending away. I'm gonna leave this to cool for about 10 minutes now. All right, it's been 10 minutes. This looks really good. I think I'm not going to blend it again because it's um, just gorgeous. Uh, it's still pretty warm, so I'm going to leave this to cool down for another 15 minutes and then we can add our cool down phase. Alright, so now that this has cooled down, we are going to add our cool down ingredients. So 
because these are ingredients that we add in really small amounts, we're going to want to weigh them out on a very precise scale. Unfortunately, uh, the precise scales that most home crafters have, including myself, don't usually have very high weight allowances. So I'm going to pop a bit of lotion into a small beaker here and then pop this on the scale and we'll weigh our cool down ingredients into here, stir them in and then transfer them back to the master batch so we don't blow out this scale, which tops out at 200 grams. So for our essential oils, we're using frankincense, bergapatine free bergamot and mandarin. And then we're going to add some liquid germal plus to preserve it and some vitamin E and antioxidant to help delay the onset of rancidity for the oils in the recipe. So we're going to start with a quarter of a gram of frankincense essential oil. 0 0.1 grams of bergbatine free bergamot. 0 0.1 grams of mandarin. 0 0.03 grams vitamin E. And a quarter of a gram of liquid germal plus. For a container, I'm going to be using this classy little jar from Yellow Bee. It's even got one of these sort of posh little lid inserts. And I thought we'd take a look at applications since I know all of them can be kind of soapy. I just don't want to put on a ton of it there, but I would say it's not, not too, too soapy at all. Not really noticing colossal amounts of soaping unless I have Obviously, if I put on like a lot of it, it'll be white as we try to rub it in, but once you actually sort of get rid of the excess, it really rubs in really beautifully. And there you go. You just made a beautiful frankincense facial lotion. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and do remember to go down to the description box and click through to this recipe on the blog where you'll find the full written recipe, links to all of the ingredients, information on substitution, scaling, shelf life, and all kinds of other great stuff. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.